If you're familiar with my book, The Ego Tango, you'll be aware of some of the concepts from the book. The following story highlights several of these partner mindset techniques. Discretionary effort, staying detached from the outcome, being the best customer you can be, staying upbeat and friendly even when you don't get what you want. This story takes place on a cold and dreary day just before Christmas 2006. My sister Pat and I were power walking in a shopping mall in Seattle. It's something Americans do. And something you should know about Pat and I is that uh, we like to shop. So using the mall for exercise, perhaps not the most clever idea. Plus, the pre-Christmas sales were in full swing. And as we circled the top floor for the second time, there it was, in the window of Coldwater Creek, a green suede jacket. It was love at first sight. And I'm slightly obsessed with a particular shade of green. Okay, mm, extremely ex obsessed, I will say. And this jacket was fab. I stared at that thing like some people stare at posters of George Clooney. Pat and I popped into the store, tried it on, jacket fit me perfectly. Plus, the price was reduced by 25%. I was all about to buy it when I noticed that there was a wrinkle in the collar. And the thing about suede is you can't iron it. So I asked the saleswoman if she could check in the back for another one. No luck. So she suggested I ask the manager for an additional discount. Okay, why not? I go to the checkout counter and I explain the situation to the manager and she, I show her the wrinkle and I asked her, would it be okay to give me a further discount? It isn't quite perfect. She said, no, I'm sorry, it's already on sale. I can't discount it any further. Do you still wanna buy it? I said, yes, I'll take it anyway, thanks. Sounding not the least bit disappointed about not getting an additional discount. Even though I knew she had the authority to grant me a further discount, and this is known as discretionary effort. Nonetheless, I didn't indicate any annoyance or disappointment towards her. Instead, she and I began chatting during the checkout. I mentioned that I live in Switzerland. And she said, oh, my friend's daughter used to live in Switzerland. She just loved it. And then she told me the location, and it turned out that was right near where I lived. And so we were all having this great, friendly conversation as she was folding my beautiful jacket in like this matching, gorgeous tissue paper. Then, just before she rang up the sale, she said, you know, that jacket isn't quite perfect. I think I could give you a further discount on it. And I said, oh, oh, that would be great beaming as I got another 10% off my fabulous jacket. And then Pat starts kicking me onto the counter as if to say, geez, these skills worked again. This is crazy. Now, after that, you'll be happy to know Pat and I did resume our walk, thoroughly pleased with ourselves. And I'm pretty sure the extra adrenaline from the added discount may have even helped me burn a few more calories. And now, Wait for it. Ta-da! Isn't she gorgeous? And here's the thing. The manager's reaction occurred because when people feel treated with respect, magic happens. When the person who has this discretionary effort doesn't give you what you want and you continue to remain kind and respectful, they notice and they think, hmm, she's still a nice person. She's not penalizing me. And when they recognize that there are no strings attached to the respect you're showing them, they think, hmm, I could give her what she wants, so why not? I've come across two psychological explanations for why this approach seems to be so effective. One, as I explained earlier, it's because people are hardwired to want to help each other. This is called the open loop system that Daniel Goleman talks about in his work. The second explanation, also connected to the brain, is researched by a guy by the name of Dr. Gregory S. Burns. 
Burns demonstrated that when we choose a positive res response to cooperate with another person, the behavior activates the joy centers in our brain. We get a hit of pleasure by doing something positive for others. This experience is unofficially known as our brain on hugs. So when the manager gave me a discount, she got to feel good about herself for having given me what I wanted. All right, my friends, that's my inspiration for today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to visit my website or check out my YouTube channel or my book, The Ego Tango. For more tips on becoming a more powerful communicator. Thanks for tuning in and happy partnering.